action. Okay, so Harry Potter's done now. Are yes. you excited for the premiere next week? Yeah, very excited. We filmed it so long ago. Yeah. I haven't seen anything. I've, I've only seen the Not trailers. Seen a thing? No, everyone keeps saying, so what's it like? It's like I haven't seen it. They haven't shown me yet. So I can't wait. For I know. To be epic. It, it really is. It feels kind of, it's weird. You spend so long saying, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And now it's here. I feel like, Oh, I'd almost rather wait. I want to wait a bit longer yeah. now. I don't want it to be over so quickly. I know, so we're like, we yeah, it's kind of, to come. It's kind of bittersweet, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, but so how long has it been since you've seen the rest of the cast? A long time, actually. I saw, you know, a handful of them a while ago, but I haven't seen Daniel since we finished, I don't think. Or Rupert and Emma. I see Rupert and something or other. Um, we did a comic relief thing yeah. not so long ago, so that was cool. Um, but yeah, like a long time, so I'm excited for everyone to be back together again. Does it feel weird that you're not going to be on set with them? Yeah, like very much so. Life. It did. It finished. It felt like that even a month after finishing. It was kind of like, well, where is everyone? But everyone's off doing their own thing and in different countries and keeping busy. So yeah, it's kind of a, it's kind of a strange one, but I'm slowly getting used to it. Yeah. Does it does it feel really good to finally shake Draco off? Or yeah, again, it's it's bang in the middle where I've loved this character so much and I really enjoy playing him. So I'm gonna miss it now. I really enjoyed it, but at the other time, at the other, on the other side of the coin, I'm very excited to hopefully see some other roles and see some other you know exciting characters to play as well. So looking back at all of the films, mm. do you have a favourite? Which was your favourite to film, maybe? Um, I mean, the sixth one was always one that was special to me, just because it was uh, it was just a really it was one of those times where I wasn't sure whether whether acting was something that I wanted to do for the rest of my life, and that film really cemented um, a real passion for filmmaking and a real reminder of how lucky I've been over the last. 10 years to, be, to have been doing it. Um, but the last two, obviously, we filmed them as one. It was like a 250 day shoot. Mm. So, yeah, that was. Massive. Yeah, it was. It was really epic, you know, <laughs> and we really felt like we've, we've, we'd achieved something yeah. pretty solid by the end of that. Okay, well, you um, originally tried out for the part of Ron, were you? Yeah, and Harry, and yeah, oh, a few really? others, yeah. Well, could you get, would, are you quite glad that you um, you got the part of Draco? Would yeah. you prefer playing someone a bit more evil? No, or? definitely. I'm very glad I got Draco. Not only am I glad I got Draco, but also no one. No one could play uh, Ron better than Rupert, and the same with Daniel and, and, and Harry. So, yeah, I'm very. Not only am I glad and grateful that I got the part of Draco, but also no one, no one could have done it better than those guys. So yeah, I think it's probably worked out for the best. And we don't think anyone could have Draco as well as you. Well, bless you. Yeah, Pretty I personally cool. think I would have been a fabulous Hermione, but <laughs> they argued against yeah, it. Oh, God, that would have been quite interesting. Yeah, and it wasn't bad, but I just thought I could have brought something else. You know. Yeah, a bit different edge to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so the Harry Potter video game is coming out. Yes. Um, are you, have you had a summer? Are you, how are you doing with it? Are you good? Yeah, I'm very excited, man. Every year they seem to pull something new out of the works for these games. I mean, I've, I was brought up as a massive gamer, so yeah. when they told me on, back on the first one that we were gonna, they were going to do a Harry Potter video game, mm -hmm. I was so excited. I had no idea that we'd still be here 10 years on playing the last one, playing the final one. I just had my first go, actually, literally. I really just yeah, that's another reason why I was five minutes late. I was just finishing off this level, excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty awesome. I mean, this is uh, definitely a new approach to the games. You can play a lot more characters in this one. Uh, and obviously it's a lot more, it's based a lot more around the story of the film, which is yeah. kind of this last battle of Hogwarts. So it's kind of a, it's a very action-packed number for sure. Yeah, I just had to go. The graphics are pretty impressive. They are, and they are I'm scary. I'm not good at it though. I was a bit poor, to well, be honest. I, I was I, scared once I, the people started coming at me. I cheekily <laughs> have had basically the top top guy from EA behind me saying, double circle, and then like, you know, <laughs> press L1, you know. So yeah, I, it was helpful to You're have like, someone really like, good at this. Yeah, I was, I was <laughs> flying through, like, explain your ass, explain your ass. This is easy. <laughs> So yeah, that did help to have him behind. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy it. It's one of those ones which is kind of a nice blend of the, you know, uh, platform game where you get to explore and kind of do your own thing, mixed in with these very cool little levels and challenges and things like that. So what was the process of, um, of creating? What was your input into it? You have to. I basically did the whole thing. I designed it. <laughs> yeah. I, I sat there, coded it. Hours of work. Um, no, my, yeah, what else is it? No, my efforts were very, very slim. I'm afraid to say. We we were kind of just brought in to to just do some of the voice work and um, I, I tried to get involved with the character building. They actually showed me, I was there three months ago, they were showing me Draco what he was going to look like and I was stressing to get slightly bigger <laughs> by set. Pump it up a bit. Yeah, yeah, shred him up a little bit. But they, they, were, they were keen to stay accurate to the film, so yeah. But it was, it was very cool actually to get involved as a kid, you know, as a massive gamer, so to, to, to actually be asked by EA, the kings of games, to, to come in and uh, help out on a game was a, was a real honour. 
yeah, it's kind of a bit of a childhood dream for me. <laughs> so do you just have to go in and film and record voiceover? Yeah, kind of. It's a mixture of things, really. They do they do one sort of session where you do uh, like generic lines, if you will, yeah. and spells, and like, mm -hmm. and then you do other noises where it's like sounds of you, whether it's breathing or like being <laughs> hit by a spell or getting up off the floor. And that must have been quite weird. It's really weird. And you sit there and you think, you seriously want me to make this noise? Or was this... that quite embarrassing? Very. It's in a room full of people. Well, this is it. It is. When you first go there, you think, oh my god, I'm going to look such an idiot. But your only way to really excel at doing the game voices is to try and make yourself as much an idiot as possible and really kind of really go for it. Really go for it. <laughs> like go 150% and just really go for it. Because obviously, you know, the, the, anything they're picking up is your voice so yeah. they don't see you at the end of it um, and they're very good at making it making something sound ridiculous making it sound apt and perfect within a video game so yeah they're very good at it. And so what's it like seeing yourself like in a computer game as a graphic? Yeah it's, it's a weird. mixture it's kind of like I'm, just, I'm just a bit scary and a bit, bit wary kind of seeing you know, <laughs> it's kind of weird because um, obviously as the years have gone on as well the graphics mm. are so good yeah you really feel like you're looking at yeah, a mirror or, or some sort of film that you were in but you don't remember it. Especially when you start moving yourself around or, 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 or even worse, firing spells at yourself. It's very strange. Um, but that's it's kind of over, overpowered by the feeling of this is cool. Or, you know, as a kid, I was like, wow, this is amazing. I took loads of pictures and sent them to my friends straight away. So, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, it was kind of like. Uh, being made into a, 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 a toy or an action figure, yeah. it's kind of like this is this is cool. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, uh, you know. Okay, so back to the film stuff. Um, sure. It, did you ever have any crushes on the set of Harry Potter? Were you? Not really. Yeah, I had like a little. I had a little boy crush on um, Helena Bonham Carter. <laughs> Who, yeah, she's, yeah, great. she's gorgeous, but exactly. in, a, in a very individual way. Yeah. Like, you can't really put your finger on it, but there's something very beautiful about Helena yeah. um, as a person as well. She's very very charming. So yeah, that was my, probably my only boy crush. <laughs> okay, so who's your ideal woman, would you say? Wow, in a person? I've, um, um, yeah, anyone? I think I'd get in trouble if I said anyone but my missus, I think. <laughs> if she was out of the picture, she's the <laughs> Well, it's always one. tough. Like, I'm always one of those guys who doesn't... I definitely don't judge a, 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 a book by its cover, especially yeah. with... Well, not just with girls, but I guess with guys as well, where you know people who sometimes look one thing are quite the opposite, mm -hmm. and I'm far more interested in someone's personality. Like the, the girl from that I'm with now, I spent three months with her drinking tea and without even thinking twice, oh my god, this is an attractive girl. We just really got on well as friends. Yeah. She almost had to ask me out, she almost had to prompt me to say, yeah. <laughs> she said, come on. Yeah, and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, this is what happened. So yeah, it, was, it kind of came, came out of nowhere. Oh, so if you were in a rom com, mm. who would you like to play your leading lady? Oh wow, um, poof, you give me a handful of good ones to choose yeah. from now. I love Rosie Huntington, uh, Whiteley or Whitley from, from the Transformers movies. Pretty good, isn't she? She's it? gorgeous. Pretty much any Victoria's Secret model will do. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a load of them, even Megan Fox. And... Oh, yeah, she's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> I've got on, so I'm going to stop myself now. <laughs> okay, who would you say you're closest to out of the cast? Um, we're all very close, man. I'm Matt Lewis, who plays Neville, yeah. we're very much on a, on, a, on a good level with each other, man. We've always seen eye to eye and got on very well. Uh, Daniel and I obviously get on very well. I have, I have immense respect and, and admiration for Daniel. He's a, a real worker and knows how to make the most of his situation and he's yeah he's always someone that I've looked up to and we've always got on very well with things like cricket and music and films and stuff like that. Oh, cool. Well last time we spoke to you you did say that you were gonna release some music or you know you did some music. Oh yeah. When are we gonna get to hear this? Well there is there is some out there. It's uh, I'm 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 slowly sneaking it out under the radar. Okay. So it, it, there is a few songs, four or five songs available on iTunes now. Um, oh. But yeah it's kind of one of those things that it's always been a passion thing for me and something I've done for fun. And I'm always keen for it to kind of stay that way, and for you know, hopefully for the music to get round through word of ear rather than word of mouth, sorry, rather than uh, rather than me sort of ramming it down people's throats. Yeah. So yeah, you know, have a listen, see what you think. Tempted to go down um, Daniel Radcliffe's route and do a musical. A musical, like yeah, I would never turn it away. Like I love musical theatre. Yeah. Daniel really excels at it, um, but it's something that I'd love to do. You know, have you, have you seen Blood Brothers? The show. Yeah. That's a show I've always loved as a kid. I'd love to be with that. Um, I've seen Jersey Boys about eight times now, so yeah, maybe that could be one in the years to come. You never know, right? You never know. Um, <laughs> what would be your ideal role if you could have any role, any genres you really let's want to out, let's, let's just go straight out there and say James Bond. Yeah. Let's just do it, why not? Um, it'd be pretty cool. Actually, I, I think I'm pitching for a James Bond villain now. Maybe. I think I'd rather be the, the cat-stroking... Yeah. quite good, although you never know, and Daniel Craig's done, just be like... 
Yeah, I've got, got a few. I've got a few more years at the gym yet. Yeah. yeah one day I'll get there. Sure. sure. <laughs> okay. And finally, what's next for you? What's like next? Then what's your next project? Coming yeah, out? the next film coming out will be um, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, yeah. which is coming out in August straight afterwards. We shot that. I shot that pretty pretty soon after Potter. So yeah. yeah, that should be a really cool film, man. I'm excited for that. There's a lot of a lot of work in that with this, where it's just me and the CGI monkey. So I'm really the intrigued. Looks really good. It's cool, well. isn't it? Yeah. I, I mean, obviously there were no monkeys on the set, so it's cool for me to actually see what the apes now look like, yeah. so yeah, it's cool. Is there anything you're filming right now? Or Not right now, the next couple of months are just really open for promotion. Um, okay. I'm hoping to start something in September, but I can't really say too much about that. We're still waiting one. to hear about that one, so oh, fingers cool. crossed. Something exciting. Oh, excited to hear about yeah. it. Thanks for talking to us. Not at all, thank, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your waiting no and uh, send my love to all the people at Sugar. Sugar Skate. Sugar yeah, Skate, yeah, for good. sure. Well, thank you. My pleasure. Take so care. excited to see the film.